So, modern parallels. The Pharisees, I think we see the same attitude of heart in any religious structure which seems to have the fundamentals right, but adds rigid traditions and rules that are, for all practical purposes, made equal to Scripture. Yes, we believe in Scripture, but you must also do these things. And God's truth is resultingly expanded into something that is impossible. This leads to hypocrisy. People who make rules this way can't even keep their own rules. For the Sadducees, and a lot, I think a lot of fundamental, fundamentalist Christianity, unfortunately, has veered into that trap. Well, the Sadducees are what? Any religious structure which may have some claim to a historic Christian view, but removes dependence upon divine power and leading. Now, they may not explicitly deny it, but whatever the supernatural is, we don't need to depend upon it in order for our views to work. And so what happens? God's truth is selectively redefined and rejected. And if you watch groups like this, usually on the more liberal side of Christianity, and eventually people who go that direction end up in apostasy, end up rejecting all of it. Because once you start selectively rejecting truth, it doesn't take much to just get rid of all of it and go do your own thing. And then finally, the Herodians, well, the extending religious tradition to any alliances with the world's power systems in order to achieve goals. Since God's truth has no real influence over methods, that leads to worldliness. That's what happens when you are trying to go for your own truth.